YouTube. So here is my tale of woe and intrigue and failure and success. This little guy here is the very first Beatrix Potter coin that I bought by accident that I thought was worthless that is now worth a lot. Now, you guys may recall um, the story of Peter Rabbit. Well, uh, back when the first, the very first coin came out, the colorized coin, I, um, I was alerting people to buy it because I saw a lot of interest and it turned out to become like a $500 coin. And when I logged onto the website to buy the, um, the Peter Rabbit colorized coin, somehow I clicked the wrong button and I wound up not with the first colorized edition, but I wound up with the first Beatrix Potter commemorative proof. So this was the silver edition, which I did not want. And I tried to change the order after I placed it when I realized my error. But due to sellout, the mint would not, um, would not cancel uh, the order and replace it with the really hot Peter Rabbit coins, which um, many sold for well over $500. These were like $60 coins, $70 coins, something like that. But nonetheless, I got these, and uh, there was no demand for them. I bought five and uh, had been selling them, but uh, sold several actually at a loss. Well, come with me and see what these are selling for now. I'm so glad I didn't sell them all, because this is one of the keys in the series. Okay, so here we are on eBay, and here is the infamous Peter Rabbit 2016 50 pence coin uh, being offered at $1,399. Um, I think they sell for maybe half that amount, and they don't sell that often because you would have to like be out of your mind to pay that much money for this coin. But um, oh, let me get centered here again. Hold on. There he is. Okay, I kid you not, I had five of these in my cart. I was telling everybody to buy them at the time, and I was getting laughed at. Um, the reason I realized that they should be purchased back in 2016 was the activity on the Royal Mint website was going nuts. It was going down. There was clearly just crazy demand um, for this little coin. And uh, sometimes you can uh, you can see into the future if you can assess the demand for a coin. Uh, anyway, uh, this little uh, this little guy here went on to be one of the biggest money makers uh, the Royal Mint has ever offered. And I had five in my cart. Okay, imagine five thousand dollars worth of coins in my cart for a sales price of uh, three hundred dollars or something. Anyway, what I wound up picking was the coin you just saw. I I got the Beatrix Potter. Um, uh, which was uh, released at the exact same time. I got five of those, and I was just heartbroken. Okay, so uh, and so now you know about Peter Rabbit, and you know the legacy that that has uh, that that has uh, spawned. Well, let's go back and see what my little coin is worth. Okay, are you ready for this? Hold on. Okay, we are back on the um, the listings page, and I typed in Beatrix Potter 2016. Um, let's see, uh, here is a squirrel nutkin. Oh, I have, I think I have one of those as well. Here she is, 150th anniversary Beatrix Potter coin. Look at that, they're selling for $449, guys. And I have two of them. Awesome. I'm so glad I didn't, uh, I didn't sell them all. I was uh, selling them for below list price at one point because people just wanted, um, you know, the uh, the Peter Rabbit coin. But uh, there is my uh, story of woe and intrigue and loss and now gain uh, $449 for that little coin you just saw. Um, anyway, so that, I think that qualifies for Weird Ass Wednesday, how you can, uh, you can have a premonition, be exactly right, make a mistake, then be wrong, and then be right again. You gotta love collector coins, don't you? I mean, do you have a story like this where you just made so much money you couldn't believe it, almost by accident? 
All right, that's it, all you little uh, squirrel nutkins out there. Happy Peter Rabbit, and uh, no, I don't collect the series any longer. I, I do have a couple of odd straggler coins like um, Miss Tiggy Winkle and, uh, and so forth. Um, but uh, I, I did not continue to, uh, to collect them in any great numbers. But uh, for those of you that do, I thought you'd appreciate this story, Weird Ass Wednesday, the story of Beatrix Potter and Louie's big mistake. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs>